go ahead. Uh, onward. Raphael, go ahead. Hey, Coach Raphael Haynes with the three-point conversion. Coach, um, of course, it was a struggle at the end, but just knowing that you solidified this playoff spot and you think about how this, the season began, what goes through your mind? Uh, <clears throat> not much, really. You know, I mean, 19 years of this and... Uh, you know, 1,500 and whatever many games, uh, seen a lot of different things. Um, and look, the last 11 or 12 months have been a unique challenge for everybody. Um, but this is a significant step. Um, I knew Toronto was going to be difficult to play, regardless of who they had available. Um, you know, we've, uh, we've had struggles against teams with, with, with poor records all year long. Um, tonight was another example of it. Um, it's something that we've got to grow from and get better from. Um, but it's, uh, it's an NBA basketball game and you put, you know, you put a, another team out there, forget about their record. They're going to play hard. They're going to try to score and they're going to try to beat your butt. And, um, you know, getting the win is important and it solidifies, you know, a one, uh, uh, either a six or a five spot, depending on what happens on, Sunday, um, and avoiding the plane is 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 significant. It's important. Um, there's just uh, too many advantages um, to to not being in the play in situation. So uh, I'm happy for our guys there. They worked hard for this. Brad, yeah, Rick. Uh, what was your message to the team after the game? And you know, since we obviously can't be back there, what do you, what is the general mood? Uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't talk about, you know, what I say to the team in private. Um, you know, I don't coach my team through the press, you know, um, guys are, uh, you know, happy to, to win the game and, um, you know, be removed from the playing situation. And, uh, look, we got to gather ourselves, um, for Sunday and, uh, you know, it's a game. Sunday night against a Minnesota team that's been playing very, very well in the last two weeks. So we'll have our hands full there. Callie. Hey, Rick, in the second half, it looked like Jalen was shaken up a few times. How is he doing? Is there any concern that that could linger um, going forward? Well, you know, he got need in the knee and the inside of the knee, which is a tender area. And, you know, it's a stinger. He went back to the back with Dion. They probably iced it real quick and rubbed it out. And, you know, he came back and was, was okay to play, which was important. We need another ball handler against the quickness and the junk defenses and all that. Um, you know, look, you're always concerned when you guys get banged up, but we won't really know anything till tomorrow, you know, and then probably the morning of the game just to see how he's feeling. But he's been a guy that's been soldiering through all year. Um, and so I like his chances to be ready to go Sunday. All right, Kevin. Rick, uh, Chris Osborne Zingas with 21 and 10 tonight. How did you feel about how he was moving on both ends of the floor with his second game back after missing the previous seven? He was, he was very good tonight. Um, he hit open shots. You know, he moved the ball extremely well. He rebounded. Um, he didn't have any block shots on the, on, on the score sheet, but – you know, he was a guy that he, I think he changed a few shots around the basket and influenced some rebounds in our favor. So, um, you know, he, he did a lot of very positive things. We're very fortunate to have him back these last two games. You know, it'd be very tough to win without him. All right, awesome. Thanks, Coach.